In today's video, we are customizing our mining facility, so stay tuned. For those that follow the channel, you'll remember I built this Walther's coal mining kit a while back. I'll put a link to that video in the description in case you haven't seen it. Now in my case, I've never intended on using this as a coal industry on my layout, since I'm going to put this building with my oil refinery. So this is going to be a petroleum coke loading and storage facility, which works since petroleum coke is a byproduct of the oil refinery process. So I'm going to have to make some modifications to this building to get it to work with the way I want it modeled. So the first thing I want to add to the kit is a storage tank, which I'm going to use this two and a half inch diameter PVC pipe, which I cut to four inch length using a chop saw and some sanding. We're going to do not one, but three storage tanks just to give it a little more realistic storage capacity. And then from there, I had to 3D design and 3D print some lids to go on top of these tanks. Like so. And then a building to go across the lids like that. Now, to be perfectly honest, I had to print these twice and both of them have their flaws. The original, as you can see, has the bottom right here on the floor. It didn't come out all that well. Whereas the new one is much better, but there's a blemish in the roof, whereas this roof is much better. So I'm gonna paint them both and we'll see which one I like best, but uh, I don't think it's gonna be too much of a big deal once it's all together, but it is a bit of a drag. And then to connect the storage part to the loading part, there's this conveyor you know, section that came original with this kit. So that's going to go in something like that. But I needed a adapter, I guess, to get from this hole to that. So I designed and printed this little piece here, which will go in like that. And then that will allow our conveyor walkway section to connect. I may add this, you know, brace again that came with the original kit under here just to, you know, give a realistic way of holding this up. Or I may, you know, add some braces on a diagonal down here. We'll see. But that's the plan. So let's go ahead and start, I guess, putting it together and painting it and all that. A little sanding is required to flatten the edges of the lids as the 3D print process isn't perfect. Then I was able to glue them into place. I then used some fast drying putty to fill in the gaps between the lids and the silo cylinders. This stuff dries extremely fast so you need to work quickly. After about 24 hours I sanded the putty and then prepped everything for paint. A couple of light coats of Rust-Oleum Flat White was applied as a primer to the silos. I used Tamiya's Gunship Gray 2 on the buildings to match the structure I built a while back. The roof was hit with some flat black primer and then Tamiya's bare metal silver. The silos were then painted with Model Master's H Concrete Flat. The goal is never to get an even coat, instead I wanted some of the base white to show through. I later applied a grey mix to give some slight bluish grey highlights which aren't really visible on camera. Once dry, I peeled off the tape and everything looked good. I started the weathering process using some watered down black acrylic paint.
Some different techniques were used to get a more natural look. I designed the buildings to work with 047 wire, but could be expanded to 063 wire. I preferred the thicker wire, so I drilled out the hose with an 063 drill bit. I used some model color oil steel to paint the grills of some fans on the building. The little details make a difference. Then it was time to put it all together. For the pipes, I used 1 16th TIG welding filler rod. I like the color, so I don't think I'll paint those. This white building was my first 3D print, and I figured it would make a good maintenance shed. Everything fit together nicely, so I could then glue it all together. I then applied some rust color for some additional detail. I airbrushed some black paint onto the silos to complete the weathering and now I can go ahead and assemble it to show you what it looks like. And that is basically what it is. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and thanks for watching.